you find yourself frustrated or stressed that you just want to grab a piece of paper, crumple it and just throw it on the floor? Do you find yourself feeling guilty after wasting and crumpling paper and thus feel even more stressed after that that you can't even complete your work or finish your homework? Stress no more because in this video I've got the perfect solution for you. Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create crumpled paper. To get started, let's delete the default cube and add a plane. Resize it a little bit and now let's add the texture to it. Create a material. Rename it paper. Go into the shading tab. And now we're going to add an image texture node. If you do have the Node Wrangler add-on installed in Blender, you can just press Ctrl T on your keyboard and it will automatically add the texture coordinate and the mapping node. If not, you can just press Shift A and add them manually. This will help us better control our texture in the UV unwrapping. I will subdivide the plane around 6 to 7 times. This will help us create a better simulation, which we will do in a few moments. Go into the layout, and now we are going to actually create the simulation. I'm just going to rotate the paper so that we can see it more clearly. And now we are going to create a sphere which will help us define how crumpled our paper will be in the simulation. Shift A, create a UV sphere, resize it a little bit bigger than the paper. You can go into wireframe mode to check how big your sphere is. Let's add a solidify modifier, which will help us add a little bit more volume to the sphere. And now here's where the magic begins. Let's go into the timeline into frame 0. I'm going to add a keyframe by pressing I location rotation scale. Now let's go into frame 50. Resize the sphere a little bit smaller. And now let's add another keyframe. And this animation is created. This animation basically helps us define how crumpled our paper will be. It simulates as if we were crumpling a paper with our own hands. Let's go to the physics properties and add a collision to the sphere. Go into frame 0, hide the sphere by pressing H. Select the paper, click on the cloth physics properties and add the letter properties to the paper. We also need to add self collisions to the paper so that it collides with itself as if we were crumpling it. Activate the self collisions, change the friction to 15. Change the bending value in the damping properties to 10. Also don't forget to reduce the gravity to zero in the field weight properties. That way the paper won't fall into the abyss. Now we can see that if we press play on the animation, the simulation is created. Let the animation play until you decide how crumpled your paper you would want it to be. And now I'm going to show you a way for us to freeze the paper so that we can use it as a separate model. Now if we right click with our mouse and select shade smooth, we can see that the paper is smoothed a little bit. Now we can also add a subdivision surface modifier to a level 2. This will help us create a smoother animation. Now I'm going to go into the physics properties and bake the simulation. I'll type 100 frames, which I believe are enough to create the animation that we want. Now we click on Bake Dynamics and wait until the baking process is complete.
Once the baking process is complete and we press play, we can see that it automatically creates the crumpled paper. Now if we want our model to be static just as we see it on frame 100, we need to go to the modifiers and apply them. It's important to remember that we must apply the modifiers from top to bottom, otherwise some topology issues may happen. And there we have it, our final crumpled paper model. I'm just going to delete the sphere because we don't need it anymore. And now I'm going to show you my process of how I create a small background scene for our 3D model. And there we have it, our own 3D crumpled paper model made in Blender. Thank you so much for watching, feel free to check out my other videos on my channel where you will learn more about Blender and its software. My name is Anushkanya and I'll see you in the next video.